one. So in the continuation of the air compressor videos, in this particular video, we will try to cover um, the work done expression without clearance volume and with clearance volume also. So in this particular video, we will be discussing about how to derive the expressions for the work done in case of a reciprocating air compressor cycle. So in reciprocating air compressor cycle, it consists of uh, four processes as you all know. So in this particular video, we will be co covering both the derivations that is one is the work done expression without clearance volume okay, and other one is with clearance volume. So we will be considering uh, the clearance volume while you are deriving the expression. Let us see how to do it. Okay. So, this is your uh, reciprocating air compressor without clearance volume. How we will come to a conclusion that it is without clearance volume? So, uh, the process 3 to 4 here takes place on the coordinate itself, on the x-axis itself. If the clearance volume was present, how it would be? It would be something like this, correct? So, the process would takes place a little bit away from the line. So, it would take place something little bit away from the coordinate, but here the process 3 to 4 is taking place on the coordinate line. There is absolutely no chance of VC to come into existence. So, that is how this particular uh, PV diagram deals with uh, reciprocating air compressor working with has no clearance volume in it. Okay. So, work done in this particular expression, not only in this cycle, uh, work done can be calculated how, so if there is a process something like this, okay, if uh, there is a process like this, so there is a PV diagram of this particular thing here, okay, so this is PV diagram. Now, this is some process like this, okay. So, you need to calculate what is work done in the, all this process so from here to here okay, and it goes on for, for all the four process. How do you calculate? So, in order to calculate the area of, uh, in order to calculate the work done of such processes, you need to calculate what is this particular area. Okay. So, the area which enclosed within the PV diagram enclosed within the cycle, that particular area gives you the work done. Okay, that is how we will calculate the work done. See, you can even calculate your work done based on your general process formula. You have five processes. Right? Okay, what are those five processes? Can you name it? Number one is isobaric, and number two is isochoric, and number three is isothermal, four is adiabatic and 5 is your polytropic process is it so you can use the work done expression which you have been learning since btd uh, to solve this particular thing also okay so that is so see here 4 to 1 process 4 to 1 process is isobaric you can use your isobaric work expression and 1 to 2 depending upon the process it may takes place in polytropic way it may take place in a adiabatic way and it may take place in a isothermal way. It all depends on how you design your particular air compressor. So, based on that particular process, you can use the formulas for the workflows uh, to calculate the work done from 1 to 2. Okay. Similarly, 2 to 3 is your isobaric process. Again, you can use the same formula. Isochoric process from 3 to 4, so work done would be 0. You can add all those to get the work done expression is also bad. Uh, on the other hand, how we can calculate the work done in case of uh, any process, any closed cycle uh, uh, process. So, it is given by the area which is enclosed within it. So, this is the, which I am hatching it the green color rise. So, that is the area where you need to calculate what is this total area to get your work done. Getting it? So that is the particular area you need to calculate. So let us see how will you calculate that area and eventually the work done of it. Okay. Now, so the work done is given by area under this particular thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1. So where is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1? Here it is. It is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4 and 1. So you need to calculate the thing which is in the green color, hatched green color. Okay. 
so that is given by area under 1 to 2 so what is area under 1 to 2 so I will mark it with the different color now okay so this is the total area under 1 to 2 okay uh, now this particular thing here is your total area under 1 to 2 correct so it is this is the process from 1 to 2 this particular thing so the area under 1 to 2 is this thing okay next area under 3 to 4 so where is 3 to 4 so here it is 3 to 4 so you need to calculate the area under it so this is the process 3 to sorry what was that uh, 3 to 2 so 3 to 2 this one is the process and the whole area is this thing which I am hatching here okay okay so all this area is your uh, uh, total area so in this particular area if you okay if you by any means if you could uh, delete this particular area you have to minus this particular area which I am shading now so then you will get the whole area from this 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 and this correct so you'll get this particular area. Hmm? So that is what he is doing now. So, is all the same. So, so, so area under 1 to 2 plus area under 3 to 2 minus area under 4 to 1 if you do, you will get the whole thing. So area under 1 to 2 is given as this uh, thing. So it is P2, V2 minus P1, V1 uh, divided by N minus 1. Area under 3 to 2 is just a product of this two because it is a rectangle. It is P2 into V2 minus area under 4 to 1 again it is a rectangle it is p4 minus uh, p4 into v1 so p4 is equals to p1 so it is p1 into v1 next so if you take uh, see yes so in this thing if you take you can take this p2 or v2 minus p1 v1 as common factors correct so if you take common what will be remaining here it would be uh, 1 sorry ah, here it would be 1 because you have taken the whole thing and here it would be 1 divided by n minus 1 correct so next uh, then you can reshuffle the things and make this particular expression so this is the work done expression in terms of uh, see p2 v2 minus p1 v1 can be uh, taken as mr into t2 minus t1 just apply the ideal gas equations p2 v2 will be mr t2 and p1 v1 will be mrt1 so that's why if you substitute it it will be mrt2 minus mrt1 you can take mr as common so it will be t2 minus t1 this is how you will arrive at this particular expression further what we will be doing we will taking this expression and we will be taking the p1 v1 as common if you take p1 v1 as common uh, what happens so it would be p2 v2 divided by p1 v1 so v2 by v1 you can just cancel it away or we can uh, no you can just replace it so that it will come in the for just apply the pvt conversion equation you get this n minus 1 divided by n okay next so what is p2 by p1 p2 by p1 is nothing but your rp so which is uh, uh, pressure ratio so just substitute the things you'll get so p1 v1 can also be written as mrt1 so even this is the another form of your work done expression see all these three forms this is one and this is two okay and this is three so all these forms of expressions can be used while calculating your uh, work done in case of problems okay so let us now discuss about work done expression considering the clearance value as clearly stated here we are considering the clearance volume from here to here which is your clearance volume so you are considering the clearance volume for this particular weight on cycle and calculating your work done so area again you can uh, area from 1 to 2 far 2 to 5 5 to 6 and 6 to 1 minus area 3, 4, 6, 5, 3, 1. So, you know how to calculate see, uh, this particular thing. So, area from 1 to 2, 5, 6, 1, you can, you can see. Where is that area? Just mark it on the PV diagram. It will be easy for you. So, this is the area, guys. So, 1 to 2, okay. 
टू टू फाइव ओके फाइव टू सिक्स एंड सिक्स टू वन सो इफ यू दिस इज वन एरिया आई एम ट्रीटिंग दिस हैज वन दिस थिंग रेसिप्रोकेटिंग एयर कंप्रेशन साइकिल विदाउट क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम यू कैन अप्लाई दैट फॉर्मूला टू गेट दिस एक्सप्रेशन सिमिलरली आफ्टर दैट यू कैन यूज यू हैव टू माइनस दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग सी लुक यूर वेर इज थ्री हियर इज थ्री थ्री टू फोर ओके फोर टू सिक्स सिक्स टू फाइव एंड थ्री सो यू आर सब्रैक्टिंग दिस एरिया इन दैट प्रीवियस होल एरिया सो हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट अगेन इफ यू लुक एट दिस इट वुड बी अगेन uh as your air compression cycle without clearance volume is it you can apply the uh, previous formula once again to get this expression got it so this is how we will arrive at these two expressions uh based upon the previous expressions what we have calculated so you can take the things common okay v1 minus v4 would remain p1 is common in both the things before v4 is equals to p1 getting it so p4 is equals to p1 here both are isobaric process so P4 is equal to P1. Okay. So R P everything is common now. After that, um, what we'll be doing? So V1 minus V4. What is V1 minus V4? Here to here it is. So V1 minus V4 is nothing but is your V E S. So you can write V E S. So P1 into V S can also be written as M A R T1. Okay, either of the ways you can you can use these two expressions, which is your equation number four and your equation number five, to calculate the work done in case of a reciprocating air compressor. Okay, so this is all about the things you need to understand when it comes with reciprocating air compressor.